Welcome everyone. I'm meteorologist Connor Lewis giving you some more updates on winter storm digger. We are looking at some really intense snowfall across eastern Connecticut. Just observing it um, on radar is really impressive and I can't imagine actually seeing the real thing in person over there. We, we saw briefly a couple of those mesoscale bands. Talk about that with thunderstorms. There is some localized intense lift that's causing not only intense precipitation but also these enormous snowflakes. So they can, uh, snowflakes can come in all different sizes of shapes. They can come in cones, rods, and um, the, the ones that you kind of picture are called dendrites. And there's really good dendrite production right now. So these snowflakes are as big and as volumetric as they possibly can. And that's why we're seeing some snowfall rates with two or three inches at times in these places. Um, just looking at some of these comments. Um, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Um, thanks for... Uh, Great, uh, great question, thundersnow. Um, the the moisture isn't high enough for that. So it's a, it's, it's actually relatively dry outside. So um, we're, we're seeing in the clouds some really good snow snowflake production, but uh, there's not enough moisture uh, to see any of that thundersnow, but some really impressive snowfall totals. So I wanna dive into the latest here and then I'll answer some of your questions. Winter weather advisory is in place, uh, along with the winter storm warning until 1 a.m. tonight. And really at this point, if you live east of I-91, you're in storm mode. There's really heavy snow east of I-91 and still some places like New Haven with some heavy snow right now. Snowfall forecast, this is what you'll end up with total when it's all said and done. Uh, 8 to 12 inches. We'll probably see some 14 inch reports when it's all said and done for New Lincoln County, but this is generally what's going on here. Um, along uh, along I-91, we'll see anything from 6 to 12 inches of snowfall, portions of Litchfield County only getting 2 inches of snow as the low pressure system starts to dip over into Massachusetts and Rhode Island. But it looks like we're seeing some of those heaviest snow bands either kind of kind of taper off a little bit or they, they are zooming to the northeast. Uh, you'll see here in a second. This is a look at future radar by the time we get to 515. So this model having a little bit of trouble here. Um, there's, I would add an extra hour to this. So by 6 p.m. we should start seeing less snow in Western Connecticut, less uh, still heavy snow in Eastern Connecticut. And then by 6.30, 7.30, we're looking at still lingering snow across Eastern Connecticut. And then perhaps a couple more of some, uh, a couple bonus rounds up in Litchfield County. But otherwise, once the storm is done, it's done. I'm sure we'll still see some light snow showers, some flurries at this point. Until the sky is actually clear, there's the possibility of flurries or light snow. But during the football game, the snow is going to rapidly de-intensify, and then the skies will actually clear later on tonight, which is cause for concern. When the sky is clear like that and we have snow on the ground, that's going to lead to rapid temperature drops. The temperatures are going to drop into the teens by 12.30 tonight, and given the winds, we're going to be looking at a hard freeze. Uh, the salt might be enough to keep the roads kind of wet and uh, you know treated, and a lot of those major roadways are going to be okay. But any roads that weren't salted, I would definitely be concerned about some widespread sn uh, snow transforming into ice later on tonight. So keep that in mind. Here's a look at our Doppler radar right now. Some of those heaviest bands actually are seeing some really deep blues across Tallinn County. So just the southwest of Tallinn, I would expect some absolutely astounding snowfall right now. Southeast New Britain, one of those heavy snow bands as well. We're just dealing with light snow across most of Connecticut at the moment. But wherever you see those, those, those heavier blues, it's really coming down. Still coming down good in New Haven along the coast, up to New London, Haddam, Norwich, Stores, Putnam, all these areas getting nailed right now. And we'll continue to see those heaviest snow bands target Tallinn and Wyndham County later on for the next couple of hours here. While you can see some areas uh, punching in a little bit of uh, missing some of those reflectivities across Litchfield County. So Kent, Danbury starting to see things improving over there. Uh, you guys didn't get that much snow compared to the rest of the coast and along the, uh, the rest of Connecticut. But um, we, we still got a few more hours here. Um, 8 p.m. is kind of my general we're, we're out of it. So about 8 p.m. is when we're out of it. Um, but New London County and 
Wyndham County would still be looking at some uh, lingering snow up there. Temperatures right now, 29 degrees in Hartford, 32 in Groton. We did not switch over to mixed precipitation. Part of the reason is because the snowfall rates are so intense that it, it, it's kind of a, a refrigeration factor. It, it cools down the air as the snowflakes are falling and it forced those temperatures to stay at 32 degrees or lower. Here's a look at the wind speeds. This is the last thing I'll show you. By 7 p.m., we're looking at mainly calm winds. It's great. It's really awesome snow to just, I mean, anyone that was at a ski area today or uh, a ski resort had an excellent day. The winds weren't too bad. It's great snow to go play around in. Um, it's a bit on the, the warmer side in some areas. Definitely some nice snow making snow. But it's really bad <laughs> driving conditions because there's no way the plows can keep up with these snowfall rates. It's just, it's not fair. So, um, Definitely cut them a break. They're doing the best they can, but the snow is coming down just so fast. And uh, so here's, okay, so we talked about the hard freeze tonight. And then another thing I'm concerned about is the winds picking up after the storm is over. It's not snowing at 930, but the snow is blowing back the snow onto the roads at 930. Okay, so that's adding insult to injury. We got the, the wind chills, the snow. Uh, it's, it's a little breezy for tomorrow morning. Uh, it's going to be probably, it's going to be windier than it was today. Okay, so tomorrow morning. It's going to be a little windier than it is um, right now. So keep that in mind. It's going to be uh, uh, kind of kind of in your face a little bit for tomorrow for those winds. So, um, yeah, that's what that's what we got going on. Um, another key thing I want you to keep in mind is that the plows overnight are going to have time to treat the roads. So all the major roadways are going to be good to go for tomorrow. Keep in mind there may be some spots of black ice, but I think with the salt and the plows doing their job, the roads should be good to go. Um, you know, definitely want to double check the, the school cancellations and everything, but I think everything is going to be okay for life to go, you know, um, for us to, to go back to work and everything like that tomorrow. Uh, Waterbury, more than eight inches. It's cold, but not that cold. 11.2 um, already in Middletown. Wow, that is crazy. You know, nine inches in Wallingford. Um, so you saw the snowfall estimates. Um, that includes the fact that we should be looking at things really calming down over the next couple hours. So it looks like, what did I just see? Middletown got nearly a foot, but light, that heavy snow should be switching over to moderate snow. Or excuse, heavy snow switching over to light snow here in the next few hours. I'm looking at radar over there. And those, those heaviest snow bands are definitely east of I-91 now. So uh, New Haven, um, up into Middletown, we're still seeing the heavy snow, but then anywhere east of that still has the heavy snow, but we're starting to switch over to some moderate light snow here in the Hartford area. Um, yeah, it's, you know, I, I always say this, like I don't know, uh, I don't run any schools, I don't do anything like that, but uh, I'm just telling you that there, there should be plenty of time for the plows to treat the roads overnight. Um, and yeah, you're just gonna have to brush off a foot of snow off your car tomorrow morning. So um, either do it tonight. Tonight might be a good idea because the snow is gonna come to an end. So good idea tonight to uh, prep your car for the morning. But um, I think I think um, you know if you normally go to work on a Monday, I would think you're gonna do that tomorrow. Um, Twelve inches in Seymour. Woo! We are really seeing some high snow totals out there. All right, guys, um, I'm glad to hear some of those snow reports. Um, yeah, we are easily going to see, um, and uh, I also want to say this. In a situation like what we have right now, uh, we're going to see isolated pockets of a foot where maybe a few towns over we see eight inches or nine inches. So um, when, when you see the latest snowfall graphic, um, it, is, it is a rough estimate. Um, so what we have going on here is we have very localized areas getting pummeled by the snow. Uh, it's not everywhere. So if you're driving, you might be driving through some light snow, and then all of a sudden you go into some of these heavy snow bands, and I'm sure that we are going to see several areas get over a foot of snow because of where these, it, it's, it's like a thunderstorm, right? So a, a thunderstorm goes over your area, you know, uh, up in Manchester, there might be a quarter inch of rain, and then just a few miles over in Bolton, that might get, you know, a half inch. And that's what we have going on here, right? So I just want you to keep in mind when you're looking at the snow totals and the snow estimates that uh, the 
the forecast here is operating a bit more like like summer weather, like um, intense rainfall bands, not just uniform kind of snowfall bands. Um, so it's it's a very interesting forecast. Yeah, very powdery snow, um, and I'm worried about that snow, that powdery snow blowing back onto the roads. Uh, I don't I don't believe that. <laughs> Um, nine ten inches in Danbury. Okay, yep, um, which is super impressive over there. Um, but yeah, the things are starting to get better. Yeah, that's pr that's probably potentially true as well. Um, uh, Rob uh, Robin just made a good point. Uh, people may be measuring the snow that's already in the ground. So um, I, yeah, um, you, we, we are sticking to official reports here. Um, the highest official report that I've seen so far is um, eight inches out of Marlboro and New Haven, which that was like an hour ago, so I'm sure at least already 10, 11 inches by this point. So, um, okay, that's it for now. Um, I will uh, give you another update here in about an hour. Um, until then, drive safe and enjoy the snow.